Welcome to the COVID Law Series. My name is Jake Okechuku Efodu. On this show, I discuss issues that relate with you, COVID-19, and the law. This is the COVID Law Series. Very recently, I saw a video of a woman talking about how her husband got infected with COVID after they got back from a holiday trip with their five children. Unfortunately, due to complications from COVID, the man passed, leaving her to cater for five of their children. Now, did he know he was going to die? Probably not. Did he have a will? I don't know. As we're in the midst of a pandemic, it's important to ask, do you have a wheel. I don't have a wheel. To be sincere with you, I don't have a wheel. Why? I, I feel it's not necessary now because I'm still very much young and I don't have much. Uh, I'm not married, no family. So maybe in due time I will prepare a wheel. But for now I don't have. Yes, I have a wheel because uh, the reason that makes me to have a will is because if man, if maybe something happens tomorrow, I will have somebody who will take care of my things, you know, uh, that is it. No, I don't have a will. Well, because, more because I really don't have what to will to, to my loved ones yet. And that's why I'm here hustling, <laughs> basically. Yes, I have a will. Basically, um, you should be prepared for anything because um, you're not in control of life itself. You know, anything can happen. And um, uh, most people don't actually prepare their wills early because they feel they have a lot of time and all of that. I don't have a will. It's not something I should be thinking of right now too young for that type of it, that type of thoughts. According to Manifold Solicitors, 8 out of 10 Nigerians over the age of 45 do not have a wheel. And in fact, 7 out of 10 Nigerians will not have a wheel by the time they pass. These are very starking figures. Now, as we deal with the plight of deaths from complications of COVID-19, I think it's important to revisit this issue of wheels. I know, I know, wheels are not really the kind of conversation you want to be having because no one expects their loved one to die. But we all know that in Nigeria, several problems might emanate where a person dies without a wheel or a sharing formula. Now join me as I grab a seat to discuss with a legal expert on this topic. It is the COVID law series and we're discussing wheels and intestacy in the plight of death from COVID-19. And I'm joined with the Barristan Solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, Barrister Tesso. Welcome to the COVID law series. So we're talking about death that have come about, unfortunately, due to COVID-19. Um, a lot of people have died unexpectedly, unplanned, and it's one of the repercussions, one of the outcomes from, you know, from COVID-19. Is this a good time for people to start thinking about wheels? What do you think? As of 2018, the World Bank put the uh, life expectancy ratio of Nigerians as 54.33. Mm -hmm. Yes, this, uh, this uh, projection has been surprised, if I should say, by a ton of events. I mean, you may be, say, 18 and COVID comes at you. So it's, I think if we have not thought ab about it before, this is a very good time to actually reawaken ourselves that, okay, things are not exactly going to be the way I expect them to be. I mean, barring other uh, unforeseen circumstances, COVID is actually a major reminder that we actually need to wake up to that at the moment. So take for example, in Nigeria, I know as of today, we've lost over 2,000 people uh, to COVID. 
And this, at least, I mean, these are even those that are recorded. We may have some of these cases that are not recorded. And most of these people would not have even expected that death is close by. So I think that for those of us who are still breathing, it makes sense that we begin to make these arrangements sooner than later. If I write my will now, that would mean say I don't be ready to die. <laughs> I think it's just preparation for what um, is expected of every human being. I mean, we all are going to die. Um, but let's start from the beginning. What exactly is a will? Uh, a will under our laws, a will is a document that speaks after the death of the person who has written it, in this case regarded as a testator, uh, just giving directions as to how his estate, his belongings should be shared after he has died or managed after he has died. Now, what are the requirements to write a will? Do I need to have, you know, when I read, you know, I mean, do I need to have like plenty house, plenty car, plenty property? Like for me now, I have like laptop and all these small, small things. Do I need to write a will? Uh, do I need to be rich to actually write a will? No, 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 no. Actually, the requirement of the law has nothing to do with the amount of things you have in your estate. It's just if you're up to the required capacity, say, for example, 18 years of age as required by the law, you can put down your belongings. If it's just one box that you have and you cherish it, you think that it should go to this person, and you feel that if you die, it may not get to that person as you desire, put it down in a will and then, you know, so that document guarantees that afterwards. So it doesn't have to be so many things. So uh, the requirement of the law is that a person, who, a person who intends to write a will must be 18 years of age. Of course, there are exceptions. A person in actual military service doesn't need to be up to 18 years of age. A person, a crew of commercial airliners does not need to be 18 years of age. And also um, seamen at sea. The presumption is what? They feel die any time. So, <laughs> I mean, the law protects them to that extent, you can write. But apart from that, uh, once you have fulfilled other requirements, it should be in writing. Um, um, you should have a good tes testamentary capacity. Uh, you should be mean? of sound mind. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you should, you should not be drunk at the time. You should not be drunk at the time. Mm -hmm. You should be of free disposition. So. so, when we talk about writing a will, do I need to get a lawyer to write my will? Can I write it by myself? Do I, must I require a lawyer to guide me through my will process? You mustn't get a lawyer even though it is good to get a lawyer to guide you. Given that most of those uh, little, little things in a will, you may not be able to understand yourself. And if you do not understand, you may not be able to implement them in your will. And that may uh, cause a great problem to you after, or mean to your estate after you die, if you have omitted one or two things that the law requires. And that may just be you dying intestate, even with the will, mm. because the law will not be able to enforce that will. So now let's talk about intestacy. Now it's a big word, um, but I'm, I mean, you definitely break it down. I watch a lot of movies where, you know, for example, Konko is in his deathbed and he's coughing. <laughs> it's like, Nay, give my yamban to Chukode, give my money in Savannah Bank to AGK. Does that amount to a will? Is there an oral will? Does it exist? An oral will? Like the person just said the things that they wanted to give. So there can be an oral will, as this example you're giving. Uh, we regard that in law to be an occupative will. That is a will where it's usually done. Uh, in, uh, where the testator, in this case, is envisaging his death. You know? So at that point in time, you really can't get him to begin to put down things one after the other. But once there is su sufficient proof that at the, uh, at, the, at the point of death he made these dispositions, it's valid and enforceable, enforceable in law. So who can make a will? I see that mostly men are the ones that write wills. Is it that women can't write wills? Anybody right. at all can write a will. Anybody at all who meets these requirements of said earlier can write a will. Right. Once now, you have anything. Another question I want to ask is, do I have to register my will somewhere? Do I need, is there any organization that needs to certify my will? Just asking. No, 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 no. You don't need to register your will, even though there's a registry for wills, a probate uh, registry for wills, but you're not necessarily required to always take your will there. But I think the reason people do that is to, you know, to have a central registry where your will is safe and at a point of your death, 
you can activate, I mean, your administrators will act, uh, activate a procedure for having that will called out and then. So there's no requirement to have your will registered anywhere, so to say, I mean, to that extent. So, final question, you talked a bit about intestacy. If a person dies without a will, what happens? Well, if a person dies without a will, there are a series of things that can happen. Um, so, under the Wills Act, and also as envisaged under the Marriage Act, a person who is married under the Marriage Act, his estate will be administered in line of, in, uh, uh, through um, administration of estate acts or administration of estate laws of the various states of Nigeria. For a person who is not married under the Act, then he will not be required, his estate will not be required to be administered under that uh, channel. Uh, so we now begin to look at uh, customary administration of uh, estates. Then for those who practice Islam, uh, tenets of Islam also have um, ways by which estates are administered after the death, death of the deceased. So these are the channels through which uh, estates of persons who die without a will are administered. All right, they say that where there is a will, there is a way. Writing wills is a way to ensure that your last wishes are respected even when you leave this earth. Thank you very much, Barista Tesso, for contributing right here on the COVID Law Series. Let me greet you with a, with a signature bomb. All right, thanks for being here. Dear Mama Felicia, as you are reading this letter, I will be in heaven at the left hand of God. I want to let you know that I have died. I dashed my green wrapper and that plate I stole in that wedding. And check one of those bags. You will see your handkerchief that you are looking for. The one that take it. Take care of yourself and don't do anything bad in my frontage. And it's your responsibility to bury me because I die in front of your house. Padala! Padala! Come and stand up for them. Why can you die here? Why can you not go and die in your house? Why are you dying here? See, Mama Felicia, please let me die. Let me die in peace. Eh? What happened? Mama Felicia, you know those two twins, eh? The one that don't used to sleep, eh? they want to kill me. He took my brush and used to wash the toilet. Ah! Mama so you're supposed to wash the toilet? Yeah. You're supposed to die. Yeah. You, de you deserve death. Let me just no, die. No, you will not die yet. Which kind of death is this? Anytime you want to die, die in your house. Everybody have their place of death. There is time for everything and there is place for every death. You cannot go and die in the long place now. Uh -uh. Mama Felicia, please let me just die in peace, please. Eh? Let me Calm die. down. It's not the end of the world. Those children, they're just children. Look them to their face and tell them that they cannot oppress you. Me, I can look them in their face and I'll tell them there's nothing you can do me. They are, they are human beings like you and they are. Thank you very much, Josh Too Funny and Bello Kreb for that skit. I know that when we talk about wheels in Nigeria, people say, God forbid, don't be my portion. <laughs> but writing a wheel does not mean you are about to die. In fact, it is very, very important to ensure that when you're no longer here, your affairs are properly catered for without stress or quarrel. Thank you very much for joining me on the COVID Law Series. Don't forget to send in your questions, contributions, and suggestions. Use the hashtag COVID Law Series. Don't forget to like, forward, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> Till the next episode, uh, have a good one. <laughs>